In this video, I race my last sea licence race for this season in iRacing with a heavy heart in the MX-5 Cup Series at the Road America and all from a slightly sad older gamer's perspective. It occurred to me this week while I was crashing and burning on a regular basis at Road America that I just wasn't good enough for C-Class racing and constantly throwing myself into each race with the flawn hope that I would somehow improve was an act of self-indulgent denial. And this has nothing to do with Road America or the other rather excellent drivers that I was racing against this week, but simply an epiphany that my attempt to improve my racing craft by racing better drivers than me was, to be blunt, misguided. On paper, it seemed like a relatively good idea. To up my game, I needed to race against people who were better than me, with the hope that this would somehow lead me towards the path of racing excellence. But, six weeks later, I can see that nothing could be further from the truth. This week, I crashed my car in four separate races at Road America, so badly that my repair time was longer than the duration of the actual race, effectively putting me out completely. Once, I even got caught in the pits by an eye racing bug that refused to let me go and left my pit man dancing in front of me while my spotter told me to go, go, go. So I have decided, rather than spend the next six weeks punching above my weight in the C-Class license races, I would step back from the rest of the season and return to the rookie and D license races, effectively going back to basics in an attempt to better understand my own racing technique and learn a little bit more about racing in general. I will try again, at some point, to race the C-Class license, but only when I believe I am ready, and that certainly won't be this year. Put bluntly, I attempted C-Class racing long before I was truly ready to compete at this level, and Road America, with its complex turns and fast-paced straights filled with competitive, well-driven cars, underlined that point completely. So, that was my last advanced MX-5 Cup Series for Season 4 of 2023. That being said, I wanted to bow out by at least showing you the track that led me to this realisation, because it is such a terrific track, a lot of fun, and also I wanted to show you a few of the more exciting moments. Track layout. Road America is a fairly flat track with some powerful long straights that just scream drafting opportunities and sweeping curves that need nerves of steel to navigate if you wanted to keep your foot on the floor. Seen here from the air, the long straight here goes across the start finishing line as it passes the pits. The pits being the aptly named place where I spent most of my race time contemplating my lack of ability. At the end, a corner comes up quick. It's a 90 degree right hander, which at the start of the race is a very busy place with cars wandering off the track here on a regular basis before the track goes down a short hill towards another tight corner that tends to catch people out due to the added momentum of going downhill. This leads you into the first straight of the course, powering along under the cheese bridge with plenty of opportunities for cars to draft and overtake before they hit the tight left-hand corner, which has this wide off-track area, which, trust me, you do need. From here it's a short uphill under the bridge and into a left hand which leads quickly into another right hand then short downhill section, it's all frantic here, leads to another turn with a yet another gravel bank that claims many a driver before going under another bridge and leading into this sweeping turn. On cold tyres this one is a nail biter but as the tyres warm up, it's possible to do this on full throttle. Although twice I came off here, hit the concrete wall and was effectively out of the race. After that excitement, it's into a flat right hand turn and another fast paced straight that gets very bunched up if there is enough traffic with cars desperate to overtake before they hit the next series of turns. This is a tight series with a short uphill section that leads eventually towards the last straight that takes the driver over the line. A fast time here is around 2 minutes 35 and on my best day I was getting 2 minutes 39. Another indication to me that I am just not ready for C-Class racing. 
I got a lot of off tracks on this course. In fact, that's very easy to do. Just half a tire over the line seems to be enough, which is tough on a course like this with so many tight turns after fast straights. In one race, I clocked up enough points to earn me a black flag and needed to perform a drive through penalty. Because of the rapid curves and drafting straights, there tended to be a lot of traffic in this track and a lot of crashes as well. It was exciting on the one hand, because it meant I was always racing against somebody, no matter what speed I was doing. But on the other hand, I did tend to end up at the back of the pack quite a lot, and wondering when I would be lapped again. There are spills, of course, and some blaming go around, but mostly it's good hard racing on this track, and if you're up to the task and your racing ability is better than mine, I would highly recommend you try Road America, as it is a very exciting track. I rating and safety rating change. During this week, my I rating took a total hammering, mostly because of the races I had to forfeit due to the obscenely long repair times. My safety rating also took a beating. I think if I'd continue to race C-Class, I would eventually lose enough safety rating to earn me a demotion, if indeed that's not already on the cards. In a way, I can't help thinking a demotion would be a good thing, as I really don't feel I'm good enough to be a C-Class racer. In fact, this has hit my racing confidence to the point where I'm not even sure I'm good enough to call myself a D-Class racer. I am of a mind that I should return immediately to basics and race the rookies until I have learnt some more about how to race fast and safe. So that's this week's video. My apologies to all those that have followed this series, expecting to see me go through the entire 12 weeks. But I think, on balance, this is the smarter move. Go back to lower class races, learn more about handling cars and racing consistent lap times, and of course being a safer driver, rather than lurk in races where I'm outpaced, outdriven, and at pretty much every lap I'm left crashed and burned somewhere, wondering what on earth I'm doing with myself. This is no fun at all, and if it ain't fun, maybe I shouldn't do it. Next week, I will be returning to the Race of the Week format, where I select my most exciting race from the week, one in D-Class or the Rookies, and take you through the excitement of that race lap by lap. Until next week, race clean and have fun. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe. Click the little bell icon if you want to be notified of any future videos.